Today I'm going to show you how to build a very basic user login form that is relatively quick and easy to set up and it's got uh, very little code in the background. And th this will give you some sort of uh, login functionality so your users will have to be forced to type in a user ID and password in order to use your application. So let's go ahead and get started by um, talking about the table that you'll need. Uh, you're going to need a table with two columns. I called mine authorized here. You can call it anything you want, but when you open it up, it should have basically two columns, a user ID and password. And obviously, this user ID table will hold the names of the people that are um, that are um, authorized to use your application, and then, of course, the password. Now, I've got my password here as uh, kind of regular text here, but you can actually put a, an input mask on this uh, table that will allow your password to be shown as asterisks. Uh, for example, you can go ahead and hit design on this table, uh, go to the password column, and go find input mask. Go ahead and uh, expand it out here, the dialog box, and then click on password, hit next, and hit finish. So now, when you uh, look at your table, you'll see nothing but asterisks, just like a, a password field. So now that we've got our table all set up, let's go ahead and create a new form here and uh, start from scratch. I'm going to pull down my toolbox. I'm going to add two text boxes and a command button. Good. And then this one is going to say uh, user ID. And the title for this one is going to be password. Good. Now let's go ahead and name these two. Uh, I'm going to name this one Q user ID, and then name this particular text box QPWD. Okay, and since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in the input mask. And the input mask, again, it's for this password field, is going to be a password input mask, and hit finish. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on our code here. I'm going to right-click on the command button and go to properties. And then on the event tab, I'm going to uh, click on the on-click event. And we're in the code behind. So now, um, let's talk about what we're going to do here. Now, the essence of what this functionality is going to do is basically look up the uh, password uh, or the user ID that I've put into my user form and see if it exists. Now, instead of getting fancy and creating a record set or putting some SQL string in there, we're going to use a very basic function in Access, the DLOOKUP function. Now, the DLOOKUP function is a function that's built into Access that you can use to search through a table to bring back a value based on some uh, criteria that you specified. For example, I've got a DLOOKUP here that basically says, give me the city from the locations table where the zip code equals 75070 and this would bring back a city name. So let's go ahead and do one of our own. I'm going to just first do a little test function to make sure that our DLOOKUP function is working first. So I'm just going to type in real quick. I'm going to declare a variable called my word uh, and, and I'm just going to declare it as a string and I'm going to just type in my word equals uh, DLOOKUP and I'm going to look up our password from the authorized table, make sure you put these in quotes, where the user ID equals me Q user ID value okay so I'm basically saying the pa password I want to look up the password uh, from the authorized table where the user ID equals me user ID value which is basically me referring to the form current form that we're on user ID is the um, Q user ID is the text box that we're going to put our user ID in and we're going to get the value of that and match it against the user ID um, in uh, the authorized table to get the password. Let's go ahead and finish this test off by uh, putting a little message box in here that will bring back my password. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back a password uh, based on the user ID I put in here. So uh, let's go ahead and test this out, make sure that's working fine. I'm going to go ahead and type in Mike and login 
and I brought back my password. My pass password is fried chicken. Okay, so very good. We know that our DLOOKUP is working, so now let's go ahead and write the real function here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this, and get rid of this, and I'm just going to go ahead and put an if statement, a simple if statement. Now remember, this DLOOKUP function did nothing more than return a password. We just tested that uh, a second ago with the message box. It returns a password. So we're going to say if the password on the form on me, which is the form, equals the password that gets returned by this user ID, then let me in. If not, don't let me in. So uh, I've basically got this if statement in saying if me password value, which is, means the password on the form, equals the returned value of this DLOOKUP form, which will be a password, then do command open form else and if very good let's do a quick test here uh, just type in some junk here invalid password let's go ahead and type in the real password here and you're in very good all right, so now that we know that our basic functionality works, let's go ahead and take care of a few loose ends here. For example, uh, I haven't typed in anything here, and it says invalid password. I want to make sure that I actually type something in before it gives me some weird invalid password uh, error message. So let's go ahead and put a couple of uh, error catches in here. Okay, so I put in a couple of if statements here, and the first if statement is basically checking to see if the Q user ID text box in the current form is no. So if it is no, then message box, you must enter a user ID uh, and then exit the sub. Or else, if that passes, uh, let's go ahead and check the Q PWD text box, which uh, basically holds the password here, checking to see if that's no in the form. Uh, if it is no, say you must enter a password and then exit the sub. And then, uh, of course, we have to type in our and ifs. And if both those criteria pass, then it goes into our main um, DLOOKUP uh, functionality here. So let's go ahead and test this out. I open up the form, and if I just type in, or if I try to press in login, uh, it says I must enter a user ID, and if I enter user ID and hit login, it says I must enter a password, and if I enter a password, uh, then it gives us uh, the, our, our check here. Now all there is left to do is a little bit of formatting here, so let's go ahead and do some of that formatting. Let's go ahead and select record selectors, no, navigation buttons, no, dividing lines, no, auto center, yes. We'll do uh, disable the min and max buttons, and we'll disable the close button. Okay, and change a little bit of the color scheme here. Go ahead and close it out. Okay, so now when we open it back up, nice form here. Please enter login information. I'm going to enter in my login information. And I'm in. So that's the basics of uh, creating a login form, and there's a bunch of stuff you can do to enhance this form. For example, you can put a little section in here where the user can actually uh, change their password. You can set this form uh, to make the passwords uh, expire after a certain amount of time, or set the form to uh, shut down the system if the user types in the wrong password uh, after a certain amount of time. So it all depends on how fancy or complicated you want to get it, but it's up to you. Now one last thing that I want to mention here is you really shouldn't be guarding any top secret information with this uh, password protection system that you're building yourself here. Uh, it's definitely not a t hack proof and uh, let's not kid ourselves. It's, it's uh, just really a, a practical way to uh, put in some login and functionality in your application.